Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome! In today's video I'm going to review of my Sandquist Alva bag or Sandquist. Uh, Sandquist or Sandquist is a Swedish brand and they make uh, I think a lot of backpacks but also like briefcase and that kind of things. Uh, anyway, I had this bag for about six months now and I made a video with like what's in my bag with this one but I didn't review it that much because at that point it was quite new I only had it like for a few weeks so I didn't have a good opinion yet about it but now I can really say I can really say what I think of this bag and yes first thing about the bag it's in a canvas material uh, on the outside and the inside it's a sort of cottony linen and uh, the lid is hard to say I need to look no I know exactly what it okay going back it's uh, the outside is made with organic heavy 18 ounce cotton canvas and it's a vegetable tanned leather so I guess this the lid is that and it's grey linen linen and by the same cotton made of cotton so in the inside I has uh, four pockets one big one and three smaller ones and on the outside on the back it has one smaller pocket these straps are made of some also some kind of cottony braided things with some leather on the bottom and it also has this kind of buckle here so you can adjust the straps with that it also has a handle on the top and this draw thingy I don't know what the word for this but you just can just pull it back that and just open so the outside pocket is, as you can see, it's on the side of the bag and you have to come like from back to get it. And I think this is actually much more preferable than having a smaller one like right here on the middle, on like in the middle of it. Because here pickpockets can go right into it and you can't have any vulnerable, so you can't look have money and nothing in there because it was so big, such a risk. But here you can actually have more, more valuable things because the only way someone would actually get into it is that basically you have to come up and give me a, a hug and if it, some stranger would come and give me a hug I would mm, be really suspicious and it's like no 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 yeah because it's like you have your arm basically here so getting into it is really 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 hard um, yeah and on the inside on the front, it has one smaller bag with a bag, the pocket with a zipper, so you can use one. Have store. and it's really deep, so you can have a lot of things in here. Because I always get get lost, because I was looking for some small thing and can't find it. And it also has one of these little rings, so you can actually if you have like a longer, I don't know, something you can attach here. I don't know what you. Something you want to attach to the ring? I don't know. And of course, it has this big one, but in the middle way, you can basically clip a lot of things. And then at the back, this is so smart. This is so clever of making this because you also, also always, but you ne might need to bring like a computer with you sometimes. Then you want to put a, a compartment for a computer, and yes, it has. At the back, it has a big one here for the computer, and it's made for a 13 laptop sleeve. For the hair, which is great. But then it has a pocket in front of it, and it suits my iPad like perfectly. I'm not sure if it's made for you being an iPad or if you use something else, but I use it for my iPad because I usually have both with me because I have something to bring my work computer and I, when traveling. I have my work computer, I'll put them with me, and then my iPad. So it's perfectly. 
So that's like the interior or all the features with this bag. So what do I think about it? I love this bag. I love it. It's like one of the best purchases I have made. I'm so pleased with it. Uh, basically, the reason I went to a backpack, because I wear, use this on a daily basis, like going to work, is that I was so sick of having like a handbag or a cross shoulder or a cross body bag, because you get, I was carrying so much things with me. So I get, oh, you have this cramps in your shoulders, because it was so too heavy. I mean, I broke the strap of my old bag because carrying too much things. Hmm. And yes, I will need all these things with me. And so I'm absolutely in love with this one. This is so much, I mean, it evens out the weight on both my shoulders. I love it. I can't live without it. <gasps> I think the only one thing I'm not so, like, oh, this is like a minus of it, is that the linen, in this side pocket has gone, I mean, got loose on one side. But I think this is just basically with this model, I don't think it's all the models. Uh, and I'm going to fix this because I know how to sew, but so then it's not so hard. I just haven't taken my time to do it. But otherwise, that, it's not, not a big issue. So it's just I have to sew that. And I don't really don't think that is an issue with all the bags. I used to maybe pick this. With this one, because I do remember it was one thread was sticking out when I bought it, but I didn't I thought to think about it in that way. Silly me. Well, anyway, so it's definitely worth the money. It's not an, like it's so super expensive bag if you compare it to other super expensive bags, but it, yes, it costs a bit more uh, from maybe your average backpack for like not going on a hike or that kind of things. So like an everyday backpack, yes, it costs a bit more, but I just love it. The quality is so nice. I mean, yeah, it's a bit torn in color down here, but tiny, tiny bit. Otherwise, it still looks basically the same as it did when I bought it six months ago. So this one is such a keeper and it's gonna stay. So I'm loving it. So in conclusion, great bag. Don't hesitate, just buy it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos here every single Tuesday. And I wish you all a pleasant day.